uh, green red with this. Yeah, definitely green red. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do, Goldie. Christy wants to do something for it, though, so I'm going to let her do that. Speaking of the kids, I think Declan might be awake. I might have to go get him after this match. God bless this video monitor. It's great. He's either awake or he just rolled over. Yeah, it looks like he just rolled over. Good on him. Stay sleeping, kid. We had a fourth land, so that means this pulse means we're going to get to cast this Obnex on time, which is great. Ah, all right, Ian. Maybe infinite obliteration is good enough in in this deck with Goblin Dark Dwellers and like being able to pressure them a little bit. I don't know. I'm not a fan of infinite obliteration in general. We just hit all the lands naturally. So I'm just going to play this. And I'm just going to try and keep the board mostly clear here. So I'm going to pat this guy and crack him for two. And then hopefully we draw a piece of action for next turn. This is Pilgrim. Okay, well, this is the ramp deck. So, the old. <laughs> gonna lose to the O2 player, because we can never win this matchup. I guess maybe we have a super quick Obnexless emblem this game, because we have Obnex on 5 on the play. I guess we had Sylvan Advocate on 2 2, so, like I said, that's our chance. Like, play Sylvan Advocate and go to the races. Oh, yeah. It looks like Declan's awake. After this game, while we're sideboarding, I'm going to run upstairs and grab Declan really quick. Yeah, man. You're just going to play your Ugin next turn, and we're going to die. Both teams fought hard. Nothing. <laughs> right on time, Cletus. Right on time. Nothing feels better than paying fresh money for a league and then losing to someone who's 0-2. Uh, I guess we're not just dead. I should stop complaining. We're not we're not just dead. But we're not dead till he plays the Yuga next turn at least. He has at least creature ramp, creature based ramp, so our removal spells aren't completely dead, which is nice. If we would have had Cletus last turn, he'd be at 10 right now with a, on a two turn clock, which means if he didn't, doesn't have Ugin, he'd be dead very quickly. So Cletus showing up a turn cycle late is a big deal. World Breaker me. Alright, doesn't target Planeswalkers. We got that going for us. Oh, I guess we're actually... This isn't too terrible for us. If he doesn't have Ugin, we can Cletus and then Ob down tick and get a zombie. Right? Glass half full. And then he can't return it. It's unfortunate that we don't have a 4-5 because he exiled one of our lands. I love how Wizards is like, land destruction isn't fun. Prince Obnoxious land destruction into standard. Like, Worldbreaker and Ulamog just like eating all of your lands just like feels so miserable. So he's going to 11 and then we've got 7, almost 9 power on table. Nope, dead. Super, super dead. Okay, sweet. God, him playing out creatures is so good for us. Play out more creatures. Oh, God. Oh, God, are we going to kill him next turn now? He's dead if we draw a land? Pfft, all right, well. We can't beat a good ramp deck, but one full of creature ramp we can probably handle, especially with Cletus going to town. Oh, 
Look, I'm realistic. We're not sorry. <laughs> I'm just I'm up front when we're about to die. But thankfully our opponent played a sequence of cards that allowed us to just like crush him into the ground. You know, good on him. Get dead? All right, let's figure out how we're sideboarding that I'm gonna run upstairs and grab uh, my youngest. Uh, we want transgress, probably want fiery impulse actually. Uh, I could even see the extra threat coming in. Um, grasp and roast seem medium, murderous cut seems medium, pulse of marasa seems medium. This seems fine against his little guys. Uh, next thing to bring back in is probably a cut. I think I'm going to try this configuration. I'm going to run upstairs and grab... I'm going to run upstairs and grab my youngest. Feel free to comment and chat about how you think of the sideboarding while I'm gone. Be right back. Fifty seconds to spare, D Money. Look at that. All right, what do we think? Any any comments? Doesn't look like anyone thinks about anything. I can even see Radiant Flames being medium, but I'm just gonna go ahead and submit. You want this bottle, bud? Uh, huh. Uh, Kalidus is better in this deck because we're playing cards like Sylvan Advocate and Nyssa that are turning on their removal spells anyways. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. I'm going to keep this hand because it's very, very good if we draw lands. I think our chances of winning the game with this hand drawing drawing lands with this hand, our chances of that are better than having a 6 that is also this good with lands and spells. This hand does everything we want to do in this matchup. It pressures, it interacts with his ramp, it interacts with his mana guys. So we just need to run some lands off. And if we get to land number 3, we automatically get to land number 4 thanks to... Nessa, so. There's no casting cost. You know? It's possible I'm supposed to duress this turn if he's only got pilgrimage and no other action, but. Especially since he mulliganed, it's possible I'm supposed to duress this turn. <laughs> Hit actual every land drop. We're so good at this. Pilgrimage, Ugin. Um, 
Well, he's going to get there anyway, so I guess we'll take the Ugin and hope he bricks off for a little while here. I probably should have played the Nissa this turn and maybe waited on the Duress. Jump check! Jump check. Call. Alright, he called. Maybe Optimus. Yeah, that's probably right. He ended up having two pilgrimages, so it didn't matter. But, uh, yeah, I think because he played the Advocate, you're right. I'm just supposed to duress. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. See if you hear anything. Your cause looks return. All right, we'll go to that. Opponent skipped his attack step. Must not have realized he was at six lands. It's possible because I have transgressors in my deck. I'm supposed to seriously, seriously. Super dead. All right. GG's. Both teams tried hard, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. Now that I've seen that, I'm cutting those and bringing these in. Maybe we'll get rid of one of those and leave one of these in. I think I want want to do that. Give. Eh, we'll leave. Leave two paths in, so we can kill an Ugin and maybe survive afterwards. Yep. Turn two pressure. Hopefully read the bones can find us some disruption. Okay, you you in, you spend a turn casting infinite obliteration to not affect the board and possibly not affect their hand and you take their world breakers away, and then they play Ugin and kill you. Or you take away their Ulamogs and they play World Breaker and kill you, and just like they have so many threats that are just like really, really good. I don't think cuts better than the other cards we're already playing. I think I'd rather have the cheaper removal to kill his Sylvan Advocate ASAP. So if he doesn't have Advocate here, hopefully he just doesn't have a turn. The the best our best chance to win these games, I think, is where he doesn't have a turn two play. Alright. Alright. I just said it. I said it's our best chance. I didn't say it was guaranteed. But it's definitely our best chance. Uh, just bottom, bottom, non-lands, non-disruption. All right. Well, we didn't find lands, but we found uh, disruption plus second advocate. So we got that going for us. It's probably a pilgrimage this turn. Sure. Avison's probably fine in Cord. I'm probably going to test it. I drew another land. Sweet. So, okay. I mean, we've got... We've got our nuts draw for the matchup. Pilgrimage. Hmm. Return doesn't do anything. Yeah, I guess I'm just taking the pilgrimage. Slows him down. Buys us some more time. We can play Obnixilis and kill the Rattleclaw next turn. And then hopefully the following turn play Chandra. Take him to Brown Town Beat Town. That was a pretty good draw. That's that's why I put it together. It was a bunch of cards I wanted to play. So now we're kinda dead doing Ugin. Now we're definitely killing this. Ooh, 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 ding, it's like Christmas. Oh, baby, who's excited? I'm excited. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, get him, get him. Ah, oh, that, that was our best top deck. The old, the old one of.
Culligan's command. 